Hi everyone, my name is Rachel and welcome to The French Seams. Thanks very much for joining me again for another video. This is a hashtag Friday Sews, so thank you very much to Jen from Today and Jen's Sewing Room for starting up this hashtag so we can all vlog under it. I do have a playlist on my YouTube channel uh, called Friday Sews if you want to catch up on any of the back catalogues, so feel free to do so. But thank you very much for joining me and I hope you're all well. I did want to do a Friday Sews last week just after Easter, but I picked up some kind of tummy bug last week and I was not feeling well. I didn't get much sewing done and I definitely wasn't up to feeling, uh, filming a video. So I've made up for this week. I've got a few bits and pieces made. I've got a few uh, plans made. I've got a few things cut out and I've had a few fabric deliveries. So I wanted to catch up you guys on all of that. So I shall start with um, a catch up on Easter. So Easter was lovely. We spent time with family um, and my little boys looked adorable in their bunny raglan jumpers with the fabric from Ecobee. Uh, so much so that this morning my older boy went off to crash wearing his bunny jumper because he liked it so much and he picked it out himself, which really day made. So I, I, he looks adorable and I'm so pleased he loves it. Then also the other thing was the little bunny bags that I made and filled with chocolate. They went down really, really well as well. And uh, these are just such a cute pattern. I'll link it below. And thank you to everybody who tagged me in their little bunny bags over Easter as well. I loved seeing all the versions pop up. So thank you so much. And I hope you and everybody really enjoyed these lovely bunnies and the treats inside. So that was Easter. Um, I also wore my Kila wrap dress. So I think I showed it on my vlog the last time, the kind of the greeny sage green color with the tiny uh, cable knits. So I wore that over Easter, which I loved. I just love the Kila wrap dress anyway. So I can't show you that because it's now in the wash because I've wearing it loads and I've also been wearing it to work. So it's perfect for the office, it really is. And I've got plans for another one right here. Um, so that was all of Easter. So then last week, yes, I didn't get much done at all. Um, the one thing I did get made done, which is what I what I'd wanted to get done really, is the Lotus Blossom, the Love Notions Lotus Blossom blouse in this beautiful Modal jersey from Crafty Studio. And here it is. So it's a kind of a leopard printy. Um, Mr. French Seams walked in last week and said it looked like sandals, which I suppose a few of them do. But anyway, um, so the the unique selling point on this is that, and it's going to be very difficult to show you, it's got a little twist down the bottom. So, and I think that's really, really cool. Um, you're meant to do this in fabric that looks the same on the front and the back, which means you can just do the twist all in one. Whereas I had to piece the two pieces together, which you, you lose ever so slightly because you can kind of see a little bit of white peeking out, but I'm not that fussed about it. But I think it looks really nice with this kind of cross over here. Um, and then what I did to change up this version, because despite wearing a t-shirt, it's still not spring weather. I'm, I'm holding on to the hope of spring to come. So what I did was I added on sleeves and I literally was sitting on the floor here cutting this out saying oh it's gonna be tricky wearing a short sleeve t-shirt so I literally was sitting here and my eye caught the Whistler jumper pattern so I whipped that out and just did the sleeves on the cuff on the Whistler so I've now made it long sleeve which I think so I'll get much more wear out of this in the Irish spring so very happy with how that came out so that was what I made last week what I also did was I cut out my Marlow cardigan in this beautiful rib um, fabric from Crafty Studio as well. So I've got that all cut out, ready to go. And this takes me probably an evening to, to sew, maybe 45 minutes, an hour to whip up. So I'm looking forward to doing that once I finish my current project and I can change the thread on my overlocker because I'm not going near that unless I need to. So that was that. Um, the next thing I got made up then when I was fully back in sewing spirit um, is what I'm wearing. And this is the Jennifer Lauren Handmade Emmy top which got re released only recently and it's rare that I see a release and buy it straight away but I was just so taken by this lovely t-shirt you know how I feel about a basic t-shirt so I made the short sleeve version and color blocked it and I'll stand up and show you so and here it is and I am just so pleased with how this came out so this pattern came out and I actually had fabric in my stash to sew it up, which doesn't or ordinary hap uh, ordinarily happen. As you know, I have no fabric stash, but I had recently bought the bundle of five jersey fabrics from Ecobee. And I think all these colors match really well together. So I was able to get this t-shirt out of just over half a meter. Um, those uh, jerseys are very, very wide. But what I did was I put a seam at the back so I made a back yoke, which meant that I could get the whole bodice out of half a metre. So um, all the, this green bit comes from just the half metre strip and then the khaki and the blue come from the tiniest parts of the other half metre. So yeah, 
those half meters go an awful, awful long way. It's just brilliant. So it's an excellent way to use up little scraps of fabric. So I did the blue neckband. I did the blue on the cuffs here and you, you insert them on the flat actually, which I'm not really used to, but I was, I was worried that it wouldn't give us a nice finish, but I think it does. And then I used my sewing machine to sew all these seams and then went over them again on my overlocker just because I wanted to make, make sure I got them really exact. And I'm so pleased with how it came out. I'm really happy. So the only thing is, I think it's a, the tiniest bit too short. I don't, it, it doesn't bother me at all, but I think it just is a tiny, tiny bit short. Um, I followed the finished garment measurements and it said for the size that I made, I think I made a 14, that it was going to be 25 inches long or something, which is usually what I would like my t-shirts to be. But it came up much, much shorter than that. So this has the tiniest hem on it. So I think if I made it again, I'll... Um, I'll just lengthen the bodice ever so slightly, but I really, really like it. I did actually top stitch my neckband down, which I rarely do um, because it was poking up a little bit, but I think I was able to do that neat enough anyway. So no, I just really, really like this t-shirt. Um, it does come with a long sleeve variation. You just add on the sleeves here, so it's a grown on sleeve and it gives you the passion piece for just, um, um, just all the one color as well. So I'll definitely be making this t-shirt again. I think it's really, really fun. And if you have little odds and sods, little bits of um, fabric left over, I think it's a great opportunity to use them up. So definite thumbs up for the Emmy t-shirt for sure. So what else have I been doing? So I made up a little bag for older French seams. So he collects these little cards. They come in packs of fruit roll-ups. I don't know if any of you are familiar. And each pack comes with a little card. So then you get little animals, which he just loves. So these cards end up everywhere. And when I say everywhere, I mean everywhere. So I bought in this fabric from the Crafty Studio a good while ago, actually. And it's actually Natural History Museum fabric. Can you see all the little bits and pieces there? It's really cool. It's got dinosaurs and telescopes and all kind of stuff. It's really cool. And then I bought the webbing as well. So I made him a little tote bag to hold all his cards. They don't get everywhere. And I put in a little zip to keep it all safe and sound. And I did the little crosses on the outside to give a bit of design detail. So quite pleased with this little um, little caddy. So I'm quite happy with that. And this fabric is just lovely. And this bag is uh, fully lined as well. And I do have a tutorial on my channel on how to make this, uh, this style of tote bag with a little boxed out bottom as well. So I'll link that down below if you are interested in making one of these little bags. So what else? Um, what am I working on currently? So I am working on a little dress. So next week I have a cheeky day off work on Friday because I'm going away for a girly night, which I am unbelievably excited about and looking forward to. So obviously I had to make myself a new dress. And my lovely friend Christine, um, who came to Frocktails, has recently opened her own fabric shop and it's called Transform Fabrics and I'll link it below and she's the most beautiful fabric. And when I saw this watercolour viscose, I knew I had to have it and I had been eyeing up a chalk and notch pattern for a long time and I thought these two would match perfectly. So this is the chalk and notch fire dress. And I've got pretty far in making it. So here we go. It's got the most beautiful frills as kind of this sleeve. And then they go all the way down the side. It's got a lovely yoke, front and back yoke. So it's fully, fully enclosed on the inside, which is lovely. And it's a really interesting construction how to do that. And then I just have to hem it. The hem is a split hem and it's got a beautiful mitered corner. So the techniques in this are lovely. And then my favourite part has been, um, so the side seam currently looks like this. Um, so it's half done up with a frill, but then you insert an underarm gusset and this is what it looks like. And I really enjoyed making this. So here's a little pattern piece and then this is bias bound on the inside. So it's all super, super neat. And that gives you your little um, side panel here. So I'm loving making this. The instructions are pretty good. I don't think I've ever made a chalk and notch pattern before, actually, but I'm really enjoying how it's coming together. So I'm almost finished this. So I have to do my my gusset on this side. And then I just have to hem it and I am ready to go for next week. So um, I'll see, can I get a cheeky Friday so it's done next Friday? We'll see how I go. But yes, loving this and the fabric is just beautiful. It really is. And look at the drape. Um, I did end up lining this ruffle. Um, I know a few of you mentioned the last time to keep an eye out for that. And I wasn't initially going to because this fabric is white on the inside. But then thinking about it, I was like, look, I have enough fabric. Why don't I just line them? And I'm very happy I did. So thank you for that tip. I think it just looks much, much nicer when you can see the beautiful watercolour on the inside as well. So that's my faro dress, which is very, very, very nearly ready. 
So what else have I been doing? I've got my note, my trusty notebook here, so I need to have a quick look. Um, oh yes, I just wanted to mention thank you to everybody for all the love on my Fractales posts and all my Fractales videos. So thank you so much. I've had the nicest comments from everybody. So thank you so, so, so much. I didn't want to forget about that. So every comment, every like is appreciated, believe me. Um, so that was that and then the bag and then um, yes, yeah, so the last thing is my fabrics. So you remember a good while ago, I'd been talking about the little jewellery bag um, I made. I made them for a gift in November and I think I made them last year as well. The little jewellery bag with all the little pockets. And I'd mentioned that I wanted to scale that up and make a bag for my older boys, Lego. And I put a shout out for Lego fabric and you lovely people came through. And this is what I ended up buying. So I got a load of recommendations. Thank you so, so, so much. But this one was actually from the lovely Carrie from Thread Therapy here on YouTube. YouTube and over on Instagram and these fabrics are from Fabrics Galore. So I don't usually buy from UK sites anymore since yes Brexit um, but uh, luckily enough my sister lives in the UK so I got things shipped to her and this is the most beautiful Lego fabric. It's just a, a cotton fabric and I just think these colours are fabulous. So my plan for this is to make a scaled up uh, jewellery bag so we can store all his Lego. I think I might line it in white just because you'd never find any pieces on this backing but I think the outside I think this would look beautiful and this is just such fun fabric. I love it. Um, and then obviously as I was there I wanted to buy myself a little treat and I saw this fabric which is just beautiful. So it's a cotton jersey, it's a poppy fabric I think and it's eucalyptus leaves. I'm definitely seeing a tone in my colours these days. Um, it's eucalyptus leaves and it almost looked like there's gold bits in it but they're, they're not sparkly or anything but they do look like little gold bits and I just think it is beautiful. So this has been washed hence why it's a little bit creased and this is going to be a kilo because I think for the spring summer I think a kilo and a cotton jersey would just be lovely. I can wear it to work, I can wear it out and about and I just think this fabric is beautiful. So um, my lovely sister brought these over at Easter so thank you very very much. So that's what I got recently and then only this week I got two more fabrics delivered. I was very good to myself wasn't I? And these are from Beyond the Pink Door and these are for plans, I think summer plans. Um, I have a few um, events coming up, weddings and things like that during the summer and I'd love to make fancy dresses. So I went on the Beyond the Pink Door website and I found these two beautiful fabrics. So I had the name written down because I've forgotten them. They've, they've really fun names. So this one has a white background and it's got lovely big leaves on it. I'll run this way. So it's just beautiful, all the different leaves. I love the colours in it. Again, it's been washed but not ironed. Wow. So here it is and I don't think it's sheer in any way either which is great so I think this is beautiful gorgeous drape to it and this is called do it with passion viscose and the colour is sky which is just beautiful and then the other one I got is called Gemma viscose and this again is a beautiful floral I don't usually go for florals but I think for kind of fancy dresses and stuff I think florals are beautiful Um, so I'm not quite sure which way it goes up maybe this way maybe the other way but you get the idea. Um, beautiful floral and I think this background I wouldn't call it navy and I wouldn't call it black it's more kind of a, a midnighty colour maybe but I think it's just beautiful and I do have two ideas for dresses that I'd like to make but I haven't actually bought the pattern yet I'm still kind of deciding but they're going to be for plans later in the summer anyway so I shall keep you posted on those. So I think that's everything I wanted to catch you up on today. Thank you very, very much for watching. Um, if you like this video, please give it a thumbs up and please consider subscribing. I really would love um, to have you along on my sewing adventures. Um, thank you as always to everybody who watches all my previous videos. It's very, very much appreciated. Um, if you've made the Farah dress, let me know. Do you love it as much as I do? And if you, what do you think I should make with these dresses? If I do have kind of weddings to go to and things, if you have kind of fancy dress, fancy dresses as opposed to fancy dress ideas, please let me know in the comments below. I'd love to hear them. So thank you very, very much again. And um, I'll hope you back to you with a cheeky Friday show, fr Friday shows, Friday shows again next week. Take care, everyone. Bye.